A one-haired creature teleports against the wind, a jetpack enthusiast pursues avoidable danger, and the perils of the morning commute make the stage for a zany action puzzle madhouse. That's coming up next on JO42 Reviews Casual Fridays. Welcome to JO42 Reviews, Casual Fridays, the special segment in the show where we take a look at the new casual games that have become available, especially those for mobile devices. Let's do this. Bearing a striking resemblance to the claymation cult classic The Neverhood, the new Black Pants Studio release Blown Away the Secret of the Wind is at once heartwarming to look at and engrossingly addictive to play. The player must take on a sort of doodle jump looking what's it whose home has been blown away by a strong gust of wind. That can only mean one thing, embarking on an epic platforming adventure with only your powers of teleportation to help you. It's a simple premise and a simple interface, but the challenge quickly stacks up and soon you'll be frantically teleporting all over the screen, trying to find enough room to catch the necessary power-ups and run along enough platforms to charge up the battery on your teleporter. Perhaps the only criticism of Blown Away is that it moves by at such a pace that it impedes the enjoyment of Tobias Bill Gary's children's book style art. That's hardly a deal breaker though. As soon as I finished this game, I committed myself to trying all of the Black Pants Studio games and quickly purchased another Bulgari styled project called About Love, Hate, and the Other Ones. This is a studio not only to watch out for, but to celebrate. They understand the sheer creativity offered by non traditional mobile formats and know how to tap into that same unorthodox headspace that has led other companies to give us such modern classics as. Walk, Device 6, Monument Valley, and others. Thumbs up. Up next is Piloteer, the new release from Fixed Point Productions, and it is an exercise in ever-increasing degrees of frustration. The premise involves guiding a jetpack pilot through various tricks and aerial acrobatics. Sadly, it seems like a case of all had and no cattle. Piloteer certainly presents a beautiful, somewhat Art Deco diesel punk aesthetic reminiscent of its most immediate and obvious comparison, the Rocketeer. The problem is that for all its nice looks, the game's only real challenge is in wrestling with the controls. I went into it expecting something similar to Lunar Lander, but instead found myself reminded of Quop, the fad novelty game from a few years ago where the player controlled the specific limbs of a track runner. But Quop was a thought experiment intended to make us look at the idea of avatar control from a remarkable angle. Piloteer is supposed to be fun, and as such, it just feels like an exercise in aggravation. Amazingly, I was actually thinking of how all of this reminded me of the infamously bad Superman 64 when I was confronted with a flying through rings mission. Thumbs way down. Last but not least, we have Does Not Commute. I swear I will never understand why a game developer would call themselves mediocre, especially when they have such an incredible track record. Their previous game, Smash Hit, has been one of my all-time favorite App Store games since its release in 2014. Does Not Commute continues the company's ability to hit the casual game window, finding game mechanics that are instantly graspable while still leaving tremendous room to grow one's mastery. This time around, the errant chaos of the morning commute is the stage for an action puzzle game that works like a sort of board game where everyone takes their turns all at once. Simply put, the player must guide a driver through a local block of public streets to their destination, only to have the scene restart and guide now a new driver across the same roads in a different direction while the previous car repeats the route established by the player in the previous round. This situation keeps building up on top of itself until the roads are swarmed with cars. Does Not Commute can be played as either a intricate memory-based puzzle game or as a wacky action game, and it is immensely enjoyable either way. Thumbs up. Hey everybody, thank you for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. Listen, my channel's going through some really cool evolutions right now, and I want to make you a part of it. Subscribe for future updates, but please also donate to support my channel on patreon.com slash jorknowin42. I've set the modest goal of $100 per video, and your contribution will help me continue to bring you really cool content like what you just saw. And of course, there are some links to the side there to help expedite that process. So again, thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing you again. Peace. Peace.